Hi everybody, happy, happy Wednesday. How are you all? Um, what's the date today? What is it today? Oh, I've just realised I've said what's the day. It's, uh, it's the 9th of September today, because um, <laughs> it's my wedding anniversary. <laughs> I can't believe I just said what's the date. Don't, <laughs> he's not watching, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's my wedding. Oh, 15 years ago today, I was... Oh, we got married. We got married at 20 past one. So actually, yeah, 15 years ago today, I was in a big, I was in a big dress, just about to walk up the aisle. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, bless. Yeah, he's not here though. He's in London. I think we worked out the other day. We have, in 15 years, we've only actually spent two anniversaries together. <laughs> We're always just, yeah, because he works away and stuff. It's one of those things. But uh, yeah, so happy 9th of September, everybody. Should have remembered, shouldn't I? <laughs> I was thinking, what's the date? Um, who's there? Who's coming online? Who's saying hello? Uh, the first comment is Carolyn. There's Heather. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Heather. Those are the two to comment. Cool. There's lovely. Two, 11 other people. Ah, oh, lovely. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, right. Okay. So we're going to do a block today, as always, because it's Wednesday. But I thought I'd show you some bits. Some things have literally just walked into the shop. Well, not walked, but, you know, been carried into the shop. Um, so I thought I'd show you a couple of bits first, just before we get, let everybody come online. Um, we've got these lovely, lovely Moda Grunge Fat Quarter Bundles. Um, they are, they're yummy, really, really yummy. I know a lot of you love the Moda Grunge. All right, so I'm going to try and flick through so you can see some of the colours. Um, and this is, if you like your Moda Grunge and you want to sort of start a bit of a collection of it to use up, this is a really nice way of getting a little bit of a lot of the colours. Uh, you've got 20 fat quarters in there and all these gorgeous colours. Now, I love the Moda Grunge. I really do. I know a lot of you like the Moda Creme, which is the cream, and the Paper White is your background fabric. Oh, look at that one. That's a good colour. That tealy one. Okay, so you've got 20 fat quarters in there. So normally they'd be 325 a fat quarter, but you've got 20 in there for £55. I think I've got four bundles. They are on the website, okay? Um, but I thought I'd show you those because they're just really good blenders. You know, if you need, you've got projects coming up that you need good blenders, you really can't go wrong with the, the Moda Grunge range. I love it. It's really, really nice. That and the spray time, actually. I really like the spray time and the linen texture from Makawa. Um, and we're very lucky, actually, with the those two stockists. They do really good blenders. Really like their blenders. So I'm going to give Alex that one over there. And this literally came in the shop seconds ago. So um, it's a Moda, uh, again. <laughs> this is a new layer cake. I've only got four of them. It is, because um, we were looking at Christmas yesterday, it is actually called Snowbound, this one. But it's not like Christmassy, Christmassy. It's more sort of just wintry, I think. It's not a, an obvious Christmas range. It's in those really sort of lovely Civil War gentle colours you've got a little bit of script in there you've got some just really nice patterns and things so we've got some of the layer cakes and then as you can see these are still in the still in the um uh what's the word wrapping um and then we've got some of the script and then we've got some of the holly leaves like that but again it's not it's not like in your face christmas and then we've got it in the cream holly leaf and we've got this last one and then this one which i don't actually remember ordering to be honest trouble is with like christmas stuff and things we have we would have ordered this october last year ready to come in now so i forget what i forget what ranges we've ordered <laughs> we've got them all written down but you forget what they look like um and these are really lovely like snowmen snowmen all dressed up for christmas it does say let it snow but I really like that kind of sort of, you know, vintagey. These would be beautiful, like mixed in with some red work panels, I think, because they've got that kind of sort of shabby cheeky type feel to them. Um, so, yeah, so um, they will be, the fabrics on the bolt will be £12.50 a metre. I imagine that this panel is that big. Let me just have a little look. Yes. So that would be a panel. So you've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. And then you've got the other ones there, five, six, seven, eight. So you'd get eight that that which is going to be about eight pound a panel okay but again i'll pop them onto the website later on today uh once i get a chance to get back on the computer because i've been busy bunny doing quilts on daphne this morning so we're uh, 
plowing our way through the many, 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 many quilts that we've got sat there. So Sarah did a load yesterday and uh, I'm, I'm doing a load today. So, uh, so we're getting there. So any, who else is there? Anybody saying hello? Anybody coming online? Uh, Suzanne, Lisa, Grace, Kate, Jean. Hi Grace. Linda. Hi Suzanne. Hi Lisa. They're all here now. Lovely. Hi Jean. Brilliant. So what I thought I'd do today, do with you today, is some strip piecing which is a really quick and easy way of making blocks okay so we're going to do a block um but we're going to do it rather than having to cut lots and lots of little pieces i thought we'd do something with some strip pieces so um you end up actually making two blocks out of one one lot so it 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 comes together really really quickly you could make two separate quilts or you could sash them together because you're making two blocks at once and they're like reverse images of each other so this one's got lots of you know like your color in the center and then this one has got your background in the center and there is nothing stopping you mixing and matching them putting some sashing through this actually gives you a really nice space in order to quilt into and do some you know different quilting maybe to practice your free motion and all on um and I don't think it's something we've really touched on is, is strip piecing before. So I thought we might have done. I know we did string quilting, which was directly onto wadding. But this was this is like a quick and easy met way. These aren't 12 and a half inches, but I'm going to you can make these any size you want. OK, so they're not really for your isolation quilt, although I think most of you are pretty much done with that now, because otherwise we well, you probably made about six quilts by now. But this is just a really interesting block that goes together as a whole quilt top. You could, you know, it's a quick way. Um, you could absolutely use a jelly roll with this. It worked really, works really, really well with the jelly roll. Um, and if you're going to use a jelly, which is what I've done. Now, I cut the pieces down slightly, but I worked it out <coughs> later on once I'd gone to bed. Um, I didn't need to cut them down. So I'd cu I've cut them down to two inches from two and a half. And then I've got a five inch strip of my background fabric. However, you could leave these as two and a half inches, okay, and you would need a six and a half inch background strip, okay. Um, so yeah, um, this we're gonna I'm gonna take you through how to do it, okay. So it's it's incredibly simple. It's all about how you cut them once you've sewn them together. So I've got three two and a half inch times width of fabric, okay. You do kind of want to make sure they're width of fabric, okay, and. I'm just going to stitch them together lengthways. Now I've already done one, okay, just for easiness, just for time restraints and everything. Something when you're sewing long strips together, and we, I know we talked about this on the Zoom Bargello, is, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, is when you're sewing long strips together, it's very easy for it to start to bow and walk because you're sewing such a long, thin seam. So try, you want to try and sew in opposite directions so with this one i started up here and i sewed all the way down okay down 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 to this end okay so this next one when i add on this next one i want to start at this end the end that i finished so i'm sewing in the opposite direction and then if you were doing this with lots of strips you'd keep going up and down up and down it stops otherwise they can tend to bow a little bit and stretch it just helps stop that okay so I'm just going to attach this one to here and I'm going to sew down there, quarter of an inch as per usual. All right, so I'm going to whip over to the sewing machine. Sorry, I'm absolutely covered in bits of thread and all sorts where I've been long arming. <laughs> right, uh, I'm just going to put the right sides together. You can pin if you want to, I've got quarter of an inch foot on. I'm not going to pin. Mm, I've got a feeling my bobbin's going to run out. So. So how are you all doing? What's everybody up to? Talk to me, ladies, Once while I'm doing this. Al, who's saying hello? Anybody having a comment? What's, what are people saying? Uh, Claire just said hello. Carolyn said lovely colour combo on this. On the red, red one. Yeah, this was the, um, it was leftover jelly roll strips from a, <coughs> excuse me, from um, a Moda confetti jelly roll, I think it was. They, it's, it's probably a couple of seasons ago now. Um, and they were just leftover ones so but they do that would have been all right if i put them right sides together wouldn't it two seconds i'm just going to unpick that bit because i didn't put them right sides together no i didn't <laughs> right definitely talk to me <laughs> um yeah it was a motor motor jelly roll leftover strips i just had a few left in my scrap box so i thought well i'll use those up there we go put that 
vacuum done. And let's do it the right sides together. <laughs> yeah, double, double check you've put them right sides together. Any other comments there, love? Yeah, Carolyn says, have you got the right sides together? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't, Carolyn. Sorry. <laughs> It's fine now. Sandra says, uh, hello both. Missed fabric show. I was delayed. Oh, I'll, uh, it'll be on the website, lovely. But um, you <coughs> pop in the shop and see it if you like. It'll be in. Uh, is that Sandra Hatton? Uh, yes. Yeah. Sandra, Sarah Jane's trying to get hold of you, my darling. She left you a message. Um, you might uh, give the call at the shop a call after after this if you like, okay? So I'm just stitching down this long length. Uh, so what else are we up to? So we started cutting the kits, uh, kits the Moda kits. They are all in the process. It's going to take us a few days because it's a lot of kits to cut. Um, but they are going to be going out hopefully by the end of the week, maybe the beginning of next week. So you all have your, your Moda grunge goodies. Um, and then... We sh the, as the shop, we should be getting our or the patterns soon, so that I can start having a look through. And uh, what we'll do is we'll set up that private Facebook group, so you can those of you who have um, bought the kits can join, and those of you who want to join, they'd just be like we said before, there'd be a small charge for it. Okay. So any other comments there? I'm going to iron this out. I'm going to iron them all the same way. Okay. Uh, Jean says getting ready for. Oh, scrap Zoom tomorrow. Ah, nice. Cool. Yes. Going for a game of golf. Oh, fab. Oh, see, I'd like to play, <coughs> excuse me, like to play golf. Phil occasionally, Phil and I, my Barry and my husband, we occasionally go down to the driving range. I do like to hit a ball now and then, but I've never been brave enough to actually play golf because I'm really rubbish. Really, really rubbish. But there is something really nice when you hit it completely right and it actually goes where you want it to go. <laughs> so yeah um i know i'm ironing it from the back it's only because i'm on a tiny tiny little um ironing board if i had my big ironing board up i would um i'd be ironing it from the front and rolling it back okay so you would just put strips together they don't have to be this wide they don't have to be you know um jelly roll strips you could cut strips of fabric from your um from your stashes Let's see that's what happens when you go from the back none of it is flat i'll do it from the front there. um you could do like one and a half in which case you would need a four and a half four sorry four for the um the backgroundy color you know you could do whatever you want you can play as you'll see in a minute you can play around with these but they do make really interesting blocks and there's lots of things you can actually do with them so now i've sewn those three together i've really got a crease in there today i don't want to come out there we go um, I'm going to put my background strip on the bottom okay so I'm going to stick my background strip like that and I finished this end so I'm going to start this end so I finished this end here okay so that I'm going to start this end again just to help with any bowing and stop it stop it moving and stretching so um, yeah I've got a I've got a whole uh, weekend of classes now so we're doing the some of you are doing the O oh scrap with me tomorrow um, and then Friday, I've got all Heather and all her lovely, and Diana and Liz, all her lovely um, Aberystwyth girls. I've got a cl an online class with them on Friday. And then Saturday, we're doing seminal quilting. So, yeah, I'm going to be sat in front of my laptop and my sewing machine for three days. <laughs> You're all going to be bored of the sound of my voice. <laughs> So I've got to tell you. Uh, oh, I know. We are. If you haven't, I, I'm going to blatantly, blatantly beg for your money now. If you haven't yet given to our um, walk, you know we're doing this Lands End to John O'Groats walk for charity. We should be finished this week. We're about ten days ahead of schedule. So um, if you haven't yet sponsored us, and you could all just spare a pound if you haven't done it yet. You know, if everybody that followed us gave a pound, we triple our targets. So if you haven't yet sponsored us, please, 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 please consider sponsoring us, even if it's just a pound. That would be amazing. Okay, because we're nearly there. We've nearly finished. I'd, we'd love to hit our, our target for the charities. So. We're nearly there. Any comments or questions while I'm just doing this bit, Al? 
Uh, yeah, Deborah said, uh, hi Sarah, any news on when your classes are starting? My friend and I were booked on the bear class. Uh, we, Sarah and I were only talking about this yesterday. So <laughs> our plan was to put them everybody's all the cancelled classes back in to Friday, uh, Friday, November and December and get them all done. However, they seem to be locking lots of us down again and there's lots of little spikes happening, isn't there? So we don't know, to be honest. Um, we thought about if people wanted to do in... Oh, my bobbin ran out. When did my bobbin run out? Oh, all the way back up there. Sorry, girls. Um, sorry, you'll have to talk, talk to me over the, over the lid a second. Um, <coughs> we thought about doing, if people wanted to, doing them on Zooms. Um, we're just a little bit concerned, like they're saying now from Monday, again, no groups over, over six or anything. You know, we were hoping it was all starting to get back to normal. Um, we will be in touch with everybody in the next two weeks, okay? And, you know, sort of get your ideas about what you would like to do. Um, you know, if people want to do the classes that were booked into the shop over Zoom, we're happy to do that. Like we're saying, we, we, we had in our head, we we're like, right, we'll get all the cancelled classes in November, December and get them done. So we can sort of start fresh in January. But with the news today of the last couple of days, I'm not sure where they're going to be allowed. We're going to be allowed to have you guys in. So, um, so yeah, give us a couple of days, but we will absolutely be in touch with you soon. OK. Any other questions there, love? Uh, Heather says, my Friday fabrics arrived this morning. Ah, I'm looking forward. Good, good. Glad they got there, okay? There we go. That's enough. <laughs> so, um, anybody else there? Just for like re-thread? Uh, Carolyn said, can you put the donation link on the website again? I will do. I will pop it onto our Facebook page again. Um, it did. It was on last night, but I will pin it right to the top of the page, okay? Um, but yes, thank you. I know it's a blatant little plug, but we'd really like to hit our target, and we've only got about a week left before we do it. So, uh, so yeah. Right, back to my sewing. I'm not doing very well with this today, am I? First of all, it's the wrong way round, then the bobbin runs out. Maybe it's because it's the Wednesday whinge on the Giggler's page. We did a Wednesday whinge instead of a you know, Wednesday wonder, and everyone's like, been running out, not having the right thing, not enough enough time. <laughs> Here we go. Right. So that's a fun bit. We get to cut it all up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna again very quickly just iron this out. Anybody else there having a chat? Um. No? Nobody there for a chat? Anybody just commenting, saying anything? Uh, Sandra said, do you feel better for all the walking? Um, I do, actually. It has become a bit of a habit, I have to say. I know Sez, I mean, Sez walked to work every, walked to work every single day. Even on, is it Monday? What day are we on? Yeah, Wednesday. Even on Monday, Dave came to put some shelves up for us. And he had the car and she walked home, you know. Um... Yes, I do. I've I've made more of an effort. The dog's never been walked so much. Um, you know, I am making a point if I've not hit my steps, if I know I'm down, um, I've I've made a point of going out in the evening and, and having a walk and stuff. So yes, I do, I do. And it's for worthwhile causes and stuff, isn't it? Right. Okay, so you've got something now that looks like this. Okay, so you've got your three strips and a big background piece. And now I need a square ruler. Excuse me just a second ladies I'll put my water over there grab my square square ruler and my rotary cutter so it doesn't matter what size strips you've used because you're going to measure them now okay and you're going to measure you're going to cut segments off depending on what width this is so this is coming out at nine and a half okay so i'm going to cut nine and a half inch pieces and i want four of them so i'm going to have to stand up just a second Okay, right. Well, you look nice and over the top of this, yeah. Yep. So first thing I'm going to do is just trim off that excess, all those rough ends. Okay, so I've got a nice straight edge to work from, and then I'm going to cut because it measured nine and a half from here to here. I'm going to cut nine and a half in, so I've got squares. Okay, so I'm just lining up my nine and a half there. 
I'm just making sure it's nice and straight and going up there like that okay so one and then another one one and a half and I should let's see that's moved slightly so if it moves a little bit if it's gone a bit skew with just re-straighten that edge so I'm just going to re-straighten that edge a wee bit just like that and nine and a half again like that and then a, and then I want four in total okay so there we go nine and a half there and one more so see that's really gone wonky and we just straighten that up again and it will go what a little bit wonky because of the fact they're such long pieces long skinny pieces okay so there we go so i've now got four of these blocks now you could just put these together like this okay and make sort of like a rail fence type quilt okay nothing stopping you doing that you could play around and you know have ones going this way ones going you know there's lots of possibilities with this sort of thing you, know, you can play around with it with strip piecing however we're going to we're going to cut these all up the same way diagonally all right turn them all the same way so i don't make a mistake and i'm going to cut them diagonal right i'm going to try and do this towards you actually guys there we go so i'm going to cut them from my top left to my bottom right and i want to do it the same on every single block okay so i'm going to cut them if i come this way so it's facing you i'm going to cut top left to bottom right so i'm just going to line up my ruler across the diagonal and over we go okay and you want to keep them in two separate piles so i want to keep one in one pile and one in another okay so like that and i'm going to do the same on all four so top left so i've got the majority at the top and the background at the bottom and go top left to bottom right now you can go the other way but if you're going to go the other way make sure you cut them all the other way okay doesn't matter which way you cut these you could cut them that way but you've got to make sure they all go that way otherwise the the little like sort of really gig pinwheel thing doesn't work okay so i've got that on that side that one that side and last one like that like that there we go okay so you now have four that have got a lot of your background fabric on you there <laughs> it's actually a bit slow then four with your background fabric and then four that have got mostly stripe with a little bit of background and again this is where you can now play around with them now if you want to do the like the whirly gig that sort of pinwheely thing we're going to turn these so that the point here is going into the center okay and i'm going to do this like that and like that okay and you very very quickly made that now if you imagine you had to cut all these and put them set them all on point it would take a it would take a lot lot longer but you've got a very very quick and easy block there okay it doesn't have to go together that way you could make little smaller blocks and i get two blocks that look like well, let me move this one down a bit so i can get them both in like that and like that okay so again that would create quite a nice quilt as well okay so you could you know make lots of blocks that look like that these ones because you've got the bigger piece of you there's nothing stopping you playing around with these and adding these ones in as well okay so you could add in those two and then maybe so can you see what i'm doing i'm literally playing around and you would end up with lots and lots of different types of designs and things so that when you put them all together you'd have really quirky different different designs we'll stick with we'll put together just what the one that i showed you earlier okay but this is strip piecing is the type of thing you can really 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 experiment with you can really do you know play around with your patterns on how you put them together and things okay so i've got to make sure i put them all back <laughs> 
that way now. <laughs> okay, so um, while I'm lying this out again, Al, anybody there? Anybody having a chat? Uh, Natalie said, sorry I'm late, we'll have to watch back later. That's all right, lovely. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Someone's going to go in there like that. Jan said, hi, skulking in the back but watching intently. Oh, <laughs> good, good. <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely something you can play around with and it's incredibly quick to make blocks. It also makes quite big blocks as well. So you could put these together, you know, and make a quilt quite fast, you know. So when we sew these together, you want to sew them together in pairs, just like we did with, if they were squares. So we're going to sew that one to that one. And we're going to sew this one to this one and then we would join them. OK, which is what we're going to do now. So I'm going to sew this one to this one like that, that one to that one. And then put those together. So we'll whip back over to the sewing machine. Okay. Anybody else there? Anybody else commenting? Uh, what are you all up to? What's everyone doing today? Sandra and and Kate all said they like this. Love this. Oh yeah, it's such a it's such a good one to use with the jelly roll. You know, any size strip at all, because you are doing that. Because you're going to put your strips together and you measure the width and then cut your squares, it works with any real any size really. I can't remember which way I put that one down. Hang on a second. <laughs> okay, so if that one's that way, just double check which way I put that one down. That way, that way. There we go. That edge. <laughs> Anything else there? Anyone else uh, chat anyway? Nikki says, could you change the balance uh, by having more stripes and a narrower background piece? Yeah, absolutely. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, yeah, you could do maybe, um, you'd get a slightly different look to it. You could, would get a slightly different look to it, but that's fine. That's the whole point of this is experimenting. You could do maybe four or five stripes. In fact, you could do it all stripes. You could put six stripes together and you wouldn't, you know, you'd end up with like, you know, all different stripes you wouldn't get this piece here but they'd be stripy that way as well so yeah absolutely why not oh, yes, pop that one together. and then as with any block you're going to iron them in opposite directions so that you can nest that center point so i'm just going to set that seam and i want to iron it towards that flatter one because obviously i've got lots of little seams here and this is nice and flat so it's less bulk if it goes that way like that and again with that one iron it towards the flat one like that and then we're going to put these together okay so you can nest that centre seam there okay so flip that over nest that centre seam and make sure it all nice clicks together you know and then we're going to I'm going to pop a pin in that bit I'm going to stitch all the way down and that's your block kind of done but I'm going to put them together for you in a second lie them out for you so I'll show you a couple of like options for finishing off so I'm just going to stitch down this one any other questions there while I'm doing this uh, Suzanne said how wide was the background white fabric um so I I cut my jelly roll strips down on this so it was two inches so I used two inch strips and then a five inch strip of background. If you were doing full jelly rolls, I think it would have worked out, it would be six and a, you'd need six and a half as your background strip. Okay, okay there we go. I think this would look really good in like solids as well. If you've got a load of solids or like, you know, mode, mode of grunge or a blender, you're a real plain fabric. You know, but just lots and lots of contrasting colours. I think that would work really well. I think you'd get some really dynamic bits. Or in monochrome, it would look beautiful in like greys through like, you know, blacks through to greys through to white. That would look really nice as well, I think. It'd be quite modern in a, you know, if you're making for maybe like a teenager or something that doesn't necessarily want, you know, wants to make a little bit more modern, maybe not so as traditional. Um, so there we go. Just iron that one out and that's your block done. Now be careful of the edges now because these edges are actually bias edges. Okay, so be, be a little bit gentle. Don't you know do lots and lots of smoothing, lots and lots of major ironing. But that's kind of that block done. 
and you could see you would do exactly the same with this one and you'd get the you'd get the reverse block okay with the the background as your pinwheel all right so that would go in like that okay so you could just do lots and lots of this one and so if i grab the red one let me pull this out of the way a second you could do just lots and lots of this one and lots and lots of the other one and you could join them together like this okay like that and you can see they don't have they you haven't got any seams to match doing them that this way join them all together like that and you could have a really really nice interesting really quick quilt okay and then you could do the same with the other one you could do all of those and you'd actually end up with two quilt you know and then obviously this one would go in hang on let me just put it together quickly i'm not going to sew it but i'll just put it like this that you could maybe do it almost reversible so you have one one side one the other and quilt through so there you go and then you've got one that looks like that okay so if this is too much background fabric for you why not alter the center of these you could then play around with this once you've got to this point why not you know add a square on diagonally stitch out you know and you could do that with different different pieces and then you'd end up with like really interesting little floating squares in the middle of this as well um you know so you could play around with this you could alter this you could quilt heavily into it if you wanted to and again those would then go together like that okay obviously this one's slightly bigger because it's not been stitched yet um you end up with back you could end up with back in front you could end up with two quilt tops nice and quickly okay if you can just come up to me a minute now the other thing that you could re you could do as well is um you could add on applique and stuff onto this you know because you've got this nice big piece here once you've put the block together there's nothing stopping you adding decorative stitches you know with a bright color or some applique or something into that so you know you've got ideas there if you want to use both pieces in the top of a block they don't fit together okay they just don't it doesn't matter what you do they won't okay because i led this out like this and thought oh that'd be interesting because your stripes would be look like they're carrying on but in a different color you're going to lose your quarter because of your quarter inch seam allowance when you stitch them down with your quarter inch like that and flip that over it doesn't matter what you do you 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 can't offset them because then they're not the right size okay you would have to put some sashing in okay now you could use them like this and you could do a nice you know like maybe pick um you know pick a really dark charcoal you know if i was using these colors i'd probably go with a dark charcoal gray or something and add a little nice thin um, strip of sashing in okay and that way you can get away with using them both on the top you can't use them both well, you can but you don't they don't match up don't try and match them up <laughs> because it will drive you insane okay so it looks like it's going to but when you lose your quarter of an inches it doesn't work you'd have to put sash in if you're going to use both in the top if not i would i would probably do two separate quilt tops okay i'd probably do you know one quilt top all in this one quilt top all in this and then i would maybe alter this somehow and have a play around with it okay um, any questions or comments there? What's what's happening? Anybody got anything they want me to answer or go through again? Anybody uh, got anything there? Sandra said, where did those other blocks come from? Which ones? These ones? These ones? Yeah, these ones I did last night that I showed right at the beginning, Hun. Sorry. These were, you know, so these were obviously just different. These are jelly roll strips that I've got left over. Um, I think I've got some green ones as well over there, left over as well. So this was what I made last time, okay? And those are from the leftover bit, leftover bits from this, okay? So you end up with like two whirly gig ones, which are quite heavily coloured, and you'd end up with two planar ones, okay? Any other questions? Uh, Jean says you could use machine embroidery. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would be a nice idea. Yeah, you could put you you could do some machine embroidery so you know, some little pictures or something in there couldn't you if you've got a, a, a machine that does embroidery yeah absolutely or you could you know, do some writing or some really fancy stitching nice idea i like that yeah cool uh, else? sandra says no the ones with mainly white these these mm -hmm. ones these are the opposite bit of that love right okay 
Are you confused, missus? So, hang on. So when I, when I cut the squares, yeah, diagonally, top left to bottom right, okay, I had four of them. So I kept this piece and this piece separate, okay? And I put all of these four together with all the colours. And then you'd end up with four, which have got lots of white, which you can then put together like that, which make the other block. So you, every time you cut a square, you're gonna separate them out and then you can play around with them. Hopefully that made sense. And maybe you just missed that a little bit. Anything else? Um, I think that's it. Okay, cool, fabulous. Um, Sarah's back tomorrow with, um, she's gonna show you how to make some zero waste um, sponges um, using up like fruit bags and stuff. So um, yeah, really cute little project. She's going to show you that um, while, in fact, it's going to, <laughs> my dining room, the sewing studio, it's going to be really busy tomorrow because we're going to be doing Zoom. I'm going to be coming off, running to the shop. Sarah's going to be coming over to do the one o'clock. She'll go back over and I'll jump on to do the second half of the Zoom. So it's going to be a little bit crazy. Um, so yeah, and then we'll be back on Monday with lots of, uh, with the new week of bits and pieces. Do remember, you can just drop us messages if there's anything you would like us to have a go at. Um, I've got New York Beauty on my list. I know somebody asked for that one, so I will have a little little play around with that um, next week. Maybe do that as the block of the week. But if there's anything you think, oh, I fancy having a go at that, drop us a message. Drop us a message and stuff and let us know, okay? If you go onto the website, there's actually um, a website feedback box on there. And you can, um, you can do it through Facebook. But if you go onto the website, it comes directly through to our email and we're not likely to miss it. Um, you can you know, you can type away in there and let us know if there's anything you need or, or want okay um, I will put those new fabrics onto the website later on the motor grunge is already on there I am going to go back over now and finish quilting so I've got we're trying to get we're trying to plow through these quilts this week uh, and also get ready for a chanda and yeah I've got three days uh, three days of classes as well so it's all good fun <laughs> um, I will see you Monday uh, have a lovely weekend from me um, I will put the link back up for the, the walk-in challenge as well. I'll, I'll pin it to the top of the page so it's there. Um, and I will have a lovely, lovely weekend. Are there any more questions or comments there, hon, before we go? Uh, Wendy says, thank you. That's all right. Kenya says, thank you. No problem. Lisa says, thank you both. That's okay. Lovely. Um, fab, I'll see you Monday. Tune in tomorrow for with Sarah. She's going to show you a little project tomorrow. Bye.